What are... <gasps> Whoa! And we're back with another indie horror game. Today, we're playing They Are Here. It's an alien abduction horror game. So I'm already terrified. <laughs> so there are kind of two sides to this. So this is just a demo for the full game that'll come out later. But there's the demo for the main game. And then there's the prologue, which basically tells the story that happens before this game takes place. You know, as a prologue tends to do. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure they interlink in some way. So we're going to be playing both of them. I think we'll do the demo first and then we'll do the prologue after. Just in case it spoils anything for us, you know? Okay. <laughs> Unexplained phenomena occurred at Gray's Wood Farm on the night of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. The strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself, in the field, saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist, Taylor Fox, travels to Gray's Wood Farm to take a photo. <laughs> Make a report for the local newspaper. So we're the journalist. Yeah. My body is ready for the Grey Boys. I do not wish to be probed, however. Oh, and here we are. Talk to farmer Peter Sherman. We're with number channel channel one news. Oh, oh, whoa, what? Whoa. Left mouse button to take a photo. Whoa! <laughs> this is great material for a news report. Whoa, whoa! You can zoom in and everything. Oh, that is weird. It's like. It's definitely cloaked, because you can see stars behind it. Sherman's house. Okay, Sherman. I'm coming. Please don't blast me away with a shotgun. <laughs> Hello? Why are you snapping corn? It doesn't seem like this guy has very much stamina, so that's not good. Inspect the house. What is this? Uh, Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. Uh, my son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. Thanks. Thanks. Good old, good old Shermy. Shermy Wormy. Oh. Not work. Those are alien noises. Those are alien noises. Don't like it. Mm -mm. I think that one's locked. Okay, here we go. Who's leaving the milk out? All right, what do we got? That's 1955. Surely not. Oh, old newspaper. <laughs> uh, this old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Why have I? Why I never knew about this? Oh, these are actually all, like, articles and stuff. Wow. Huh. Readable articles. I'm impressed. It's not just a bunch of lore mipsum. Good job, guys. What? Why? That's an odd plate. What? What is the structure of this house? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Going up the stairs. What? What is this? Pro... Pro wave... I don't know. I don't know. Let's move on. Okay. Uh... Wow, look at that. Nice family. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Outstanding. Okay. Uh... It's a doggy! In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Okay, well... Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Let's... Okay, before we go in there... Man, okay, there, we, <laughs> there's two places we can check out here. Why do you just have one sock in there? It made a mess! Why are you making such a mess? Oh my god. Found my old diary. How could I forget that? I don't remember. Ooh. I saw the aliens. Oh, no, wait. Um, okay, I didn't mean to. Uh, can I? There we go. 
<laughs> Farm his children's diary. Uh, from when I was 15 years old, how could I forget that? Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around, very low above, very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remembered seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me and it seemed to me that they were communicating, that they communicated with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts in my body and two small, very small holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't want ear holes. Well, I mean, I guess extra ear holes. Ah, oh, there's not even any pizza for me. Oh my god. Um, I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair. <laughs> Bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all started with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then people start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches, and a buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. Next, people will start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the school, of, in the middle of a field, or on a road, or a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens established control over their minds, and this has affected their psyche. Also, they have found the marks on their bodies, incisions to be exact. During palpation, it felt like some like something thick, like a foreign object moving beneath the skin. Oh, oh goody! What? Why is that closed? I didn't close that. I didn't close that door. Hello? Are we cool? Okay. <laughs> Oh, a little, little walkie-talkie. Apparently it belongs to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Yeah, I I see what you mean. I think that's the girl. Members of the Sherman family. What is this? <laughs> Unlike the music! It looks like this drawing is made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. No, the dog! Oh no! Ah! Oh. Right, that's it. We're killing them all. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. All right, I hope you. Oh! Oh! That's not good! That's not good! That's not good! Are we okay? Oh no! Oh, don't wanna... Oh! <laughs> what is that? What is that? Is that the alien? It sounded weird! It knocked a chair over. Oh, fiddlesticks. Oh, bad. Bad times. Oh, this was locked before. Is there an alien watching TV? Okay, we'll read this note here. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple. Abduction! I only remembered the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then the night there, 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 the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. 
I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you definitely got that. Oh, wow. He actually got something out. A little jar of the strange device. In the note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut out an alien implant. Maybe take it. Oh, my God. They're going to know where I am. They're going to come get me. They're going to stab me in the butt. Bad times. Photos of dead animals. Well, that's lovely. Oh, wow. These aliens really have it out for any other life. <laughs> Hi, creepy TV! I guess we'll just shove that in. Oh yeah, just turn off the flashlight. That's fine. Yeah. Just zoom in. What was this, next Files episode? or Was this music added in post? <laughs> This is some weird, weird, weird coloring that we have here. <laughs> huh? <gasps> okay. That's cool. If you're into that. What happens if I... Oh, okay, let's... No. <laughs> okay, um... Well, that's fantastic. I'm gonna... Whoa! <gasps> it was tall. Maybe it's time for us to go home. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, hi. That's a huge scarecrow. Oh, there it is! It's got more, more lights now. We only had three. Oh my god, they're all their own craft. There are five alien crafts. Did they just take out my car? I think they did. Whoa! <laughs> no, thank you! Run to the car! Yeah! I'm already on it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew! Bird just got stolen naked! Why are his clothes still there? Get in the car! Right, time to run away now, yes? Oh my god, they drained the battery. Oh. Bad times. Oh, bad times! Oh my god! What? Hi! Don't mind me, I'm from Channel 1 News! I do not need an exclusive. Okay, maybe I do. Oh, what do I do? Oh no, stop my car! Hi. What? <laughs> croaking at me. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, so that's the demo side. Now for the prologue! <laughs> Yay! The prologue tells the story of the first UFO contact that happens 30 years before the events shown in the demo version. The main character is Private Michael Anderson, who serves at a military base near Greyswood Farm. By chance, he becomes the witness of a terrible... of terrible inexplicable events. Oh boy. I cannot wait. Air Force Base, August... Delta. Hello, Alpha. An unidentified object at 270 degrees. 20 miles moving fast. Do you copy? Over. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Negative. I'll try to get in touch. You entering controlled airspace. What are your intentions? Introduce yourself. Oh 
my god, they're symboling us. No answer. Switching to heat control. Let's fire a missile at it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ooh, unintelligible noise. Great. Outstanding. Well, this just isn't very good, is it? What am, what am I looking at? Is it something on fire or is it something moving? I feel like it's something moving through the sky. It's me. <laughs> oh, no, it landed. So it is on the ground. I hope if I, you know, listened. Oh, goody gum drops. I've got a... Ew. I've got a camera. I've got a... What? Oh, there we go. This is base. <laughs> the object has landed. Your task is to identify the object without contact. Oh, yeah. I'll be sure to do that. Okay, so I've got a heartbeat sensor, a camera, and a walkie-talkie. <laughs> okay. I'll be sure to get right on that, guys. Oh, bad time. Bad times. So what's the point of sending me out here if you're going to bring a helicopter here anyways? <laughs> Hello. Hello, friends. That's... Great. So, I'm supposed to observe without contact, but you're flying a helicopter at it. Mmm. Man, couldn't you have driven, like, a little bit closer? <laughs> Are we walking the two miles, or...? Like a Geiger counter? No, Mega, this is Michael Anderson. Yeah, I report so. radiation detected. The counter indicator is average. Hmm. It's probably not good. Roger that. We're all quiet here. Okay. Hopefully, we're nearly there. <laughs> I'm seeing smoke. <laughs> They're a little naughty. What do you mean? <laughs> Sorry, command. My helicopter's being a silly goose. Over. Why? Why couldn't you tell me how far away it was? I don't like that. I feel like I feel like we're nearly there, though. Oh, oh, that's those those bad those bad radiation sounds. <laughs> I would say that means there's a lot of radiation around here. That is not good sounds. Yeah, it sounds like. Great. I love that. Oh, and if it's aliens! Do you, do you think it could be aliens? That's the plan. Even though you could probably get a better view of it from the helicopter. <laughs> okay, I'll be there in three to five business days. Whoa, I've got night vision. Oh. Pressing random buttons now. What the hell's going on there? Whoa! I, I didn't know I had night vision goggles. Oh, that's not good. Oh my god. Oh. Oh.
Yeah, it looks like you just got rotated. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. What the hell is going on? Oh, that is just all kinds of not good. <gasps> what? I can't. I can't tell what I prefer. Hear me. Over. Everything is fine. We'll do this. I think. I think this is creepier. So we'll do that. Hello. I come in peace. Yes, I know. I know all about that. I found it earlier. <laughs> do do do. Hello, extraterrestrial friends. Welcome to Earth. We have lots of war and cheese for you to have. That's a lot of that's a lot of blue blue stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we found it. Huh. Okay. I think that is bad news. Something's gonna come up right behind me, I can feel <laughs> Oh! Whoa! Slow. Oh, bad news. Oh, bad news. Bad news. This is not good. Bro, just jump off the cliff. So, what do I do? I'm not scared of you! Oh! Ah! Yeah, they certainly are! Uh, I would like the full game now, please! Give me more aliens! <laughs> I think you should watch this video here. It scares me a lot, and I scream like a little baby. As expected. <laughs> You'll enjoy it, trust me. Do it. But I'm gonna go now. Thank you all so much for watching. And uh, try not to get abducted while I'm gone. And I'll see you in the next video! Goodbye! <laughs>